This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Robin Hall with me. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. It's been a while. <laughs> now, uh, January is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and mm -hmm. you are the education coordinator for our Alzheimer's Society, Lanark, Leeds, and Grenville. You're always my first guest after ha uh, New Year's because it's Awareness Month, <laughs> yes. so I always appreciate you being the first one back. Yes, and I appreciate you having us. Uh, yeah, this is uh, our Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Uh, we're back up and rolling everything's in person and we're really looking forward to, to having people uh, come out to some of our events that we're doing and other things that are going on and I mean month. saying that you and I have been talking for a couple of years but it's been by zoom because we haven't been able to have people in the studio yeah. so uh, just like your program our program your program you are back in person yep absolutely so all of our programs so just uh, to quickly uh, review some of the programs we do we have our adult day program and overnight stay program or for people who have uh, any form of dementia including Alzheimer's disease. We have our support services so we run a lot of support groups through Lanark Leeds and Grenville and then there's our education programs so programs that myself and my colleague Sean McFadden put together. Uh, we do education for caregivers, we do education for the community and our fundraising events are back up and running as well so lots to look forward to in 2023. And maybe we can just explain to the people watching too Dementia, and correct me if I'm wrong, yes. dementia is like the umbrella yes. and Alzheimer's is one of the... Yeah, uh, and I'm so glad you bring that up because us being the Alzheimer's Society, people think, oh, well, my loved one was diagnosed with a vascular dementia, so uh, we can't go to the Alzheimer's Society for help, which isn't the case. So yeah, dementia is an umbrella term for loss of memory, loss of communication, loss of understanding, so on and so forth. And under that umbrella is many different forms of dementia and Alzheimer's disease is one of them. It's the most prevalent. So we see about 60 to 65 of the percent of the cases of dementia out there be Alzheimer's, but there are others. So I mentioned vascular dementia being one of them, mixed dementia, uh, frontal temporal lobe, bluey body. There's, there's literally hundreds of different types of dementia that are out there. So if anybody is concerned about their memory, and this is something that we always want to make sure people know about is to always go see your doctor first to get checked out. Early detection is a key because uh, with early detection you can get um, a, a plan in place to live a very proactive life with the dementia. People are getting diagnosed a lot earlier now. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing uh, younger people being diagnosed with some of the different forms of dementia out there. We see Alzheimer's disease, we see vascular. I think awareness is a big part of this. Before, years and years and years ago, we didn't want to talk about having dementia or our loved one having dementia. Now we're realizing it's important to make sure that we're taking care of our cognitive health and our mental health and people are going to see the doctor sooner when they have a concern. And this is a good thing because mm -hmm. um, there are treatments out there for some of the dementias. They're not a cure, but there are treatments that can slow the progression down. And the important thing is making sure that you get that um, diagnosis early enough. And I mean, hindsight too, if we mm. look back, you know, 30, 40, 50 years, Mm -hmm. You can see some of the symptoms that are being diagnosed early now Yes, that we saw our loved ones, our grandparents, aunts and uncles go through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like before, we used to just look like, oh, I'm just aging, I'm getting yeah. old. But it's what I tell people is it's abnormal changes. So I always say to somebody uh, that'll come up to me and they'll be like, oh, I'm concerned about my memory. And I'll ask them, what are you concerned about? I'm like, oh, I'm forgetting names a lot lately. And the first question I ask is, have you always been good with names? And they're like, well, no, not really. And I'm like, I think we're okay. However, if you were really good with names and now you're struggling a little bit with names, along with a few other things, like if tasks at home are becoming a bit more tricky and other things like that, then it's a good thing to get checked out. And I think you gave me the example a few years ago too. It's like, you know, we always lose our keys. Yeah. But when it gets to a point, you don't know what the keys are for. Right, exactly. Yeah. That, and that's a great example mm -hmm. there. Or looking for your cell phone and it's right there in front of you and right. you're, you're not recognizing it. Or putting it in a spot where it doesn't belong. Uh, and then next thing you know, you're blaming somebody else for taking it on you. Those types of things. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is Awareness Month. So it what is. type of activities, events are going on? So there's, there's lots going on. There's lots on social media. So I really want to uh, highlight that. So uh, what the Awareness Month campaign is this year is uh, the Alzheimer's Society is your 
your first link. So we have a first link care navigator who will be the first point of contact for anybody who needs our services. Uh, she's absolutely fabulous. She's a registered nurse. She comes and visits the family and then sets you in the right direction of our programs and services and other services that are out in the community. So over the next month, we've kind of broke down uh, the month of January into weeks. So last week was knowledge changes everything. And if you go on our Facebook page, you'll get to see that we posted all of our programs and services and the fabulous staff that run those programs. This week is support changes everything. So uh, on Facebook, we have this amazing caregiver. Her name is Eleanor. And throughout this week, she's answering questions and telling people about her journey with her husband, David, and how uh, the society has helped her and David out and how it continues to help them out with the different programs and services I, I we have. I saw that too, and good yeah. for her for sharing this. Yes, mm -hmm. and th there'll be more to come. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. And then the next two weeks is called Community Changes Everything. And this is where us as a society wants to give back to the community. So we are encouraging people, we're doing a food drive right now that you can stop by our uh, site in Perth or in Brockville, drop off some non-perishable food, and we'll donate it to the local food banks uh, after the month of January. We are also doing uh, an event on January 20th here in Smith Falls at the Smith Falls Memorial Community Center Hall. And we've labeled it Community Changes Everything. Uh, it will be from 10 a.m. till 12.30. It's open to absolutely everybody. So people in the community, including businesses and organizations. And the reason why I say that is because there's two main topics being covered. One is being our Dementia Friendly Community Supporter Program, and the other one's our Finding Your Way Program. Okay, and both of those programs, can you explain what they are a little bit? So, yeah, I think I've talked about Dementia yes, Friendly a have. few times, mm -hmm. but uh, it's uh, near and dear to my heart, so I'm happy to talk about it again. So this program is something that Sean and I will go out to businesses and organizations in our community, teach uh, people about what dementia is, how we can help people in our community with dementia. So this is talking about how we can approach them, uh, communication tips, and also how we can help them navigate around, or I should say how you can set up your business to be uh, more uh, friendly for somebody with dementia. So this program, that's why we say for any of the businesses and organizations, this is a great opportunity to get the education done. Uh, on the other side, we have our Finding Your Way program. This is a really important program because it helps us understand what happens to a person with dementia if they were to lose their way or go missing. So this would be somebody who is going to the corner store and leaves the corner store and can't remember how to get home. So it teaches us how we can approach them, what signs to look for if uh, the person looks like they might be um, unfamiliar of their environment, um, why we should be calling 911, how we stay with the person to help them, and all those things. And especially this time of year where it's cold weather, uh, we don't want to see anybody with a dementia succumb to the environment. So two really important topics. It's a free event. We do ask that people register, um, but we hope we have a great turnout on the 20th. And I mean, that, that makes a good point in my mind as well, too, because, you know, with Alzheimer's uh, and dementia, we have good days and you have bad days. That's right. But it can click as quick as I know where the corner store is and when I come out, I don't know how my way home. It's so true. And somebody with even the early signs of, let's say, Alzheimer's, and let's say it's a person who's aware that they have the disease and they do everything that they can to keep themselves safe, um, it can be as much as just a really busy grocery store that can bring their anxiety up and next thing you know, they can't remember why they're there and then they're, they're leaving the store and they can't find their way back home just because their anxiety is built up. And you know, I, I, the overnight program that you have too, I think that's wonderful because as caregivers, mm -hmm. um, people with dementia and Alzheimer's, they get their days and nights mixed up and they don't seem to require as much sleep too. Yeah. So to get that break at night time too, because caregivers are sleeping and your, yeah. your loved one is up wandering around. Yeah, our, we, our overnight stay program is amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and for those reasons, exactly, uh, caregivers need that break, right? Uh, we say at the society, like we, we have, we're so lucky to be able to care for people with a dementia in our day program and overnight stay. But our caregivers, this is 24 seven. And you're right, when days and nights get mixed up and uh, they're helping their loved one up to go to the washroom in the middle of the night, uh, caregiver burnout is a big concern. So we really uh, stress to our 
our caregivers as soon as possible to get them involved in our day program, get them involved in overnight stay. We want to see our seniors stay at home as long as possible. However, we need our caregivers to care for themselves as well. So this is a really important program for our caregivers and for the person with the disease, for both of them to be able to, to live a well life together. Absolutely. Now, mm -hmm. how, how do people get a hold of you? So uh, you can give us a call. Our number is one 866 576-8556. You can go on our website, which is www.alzheimers.ca slash LLG. Uh, you can email me personally, personally as well. My email's on our website. Uh, it's rhall at alzllg.ca. And uh, with your food drive, you have a, a drop-off in your office in Perth, too. What's the address of that? So that's 115 Christie Lake Road. So it's in the Lanark Lodge building. So if you do arrive to the building, we're on the left-hand side. Uh, and just come ahead in. And I encourage people, too, if you're coming to the event on the 20th, to bring food with you as well, because that will uh, help with the cause, too. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming here and sharing all your wealth of knowledge about Alzheimer's with, with us, because you are the education coordinator, and that's what you do. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything you do. And uh, once again, Robin Hall, our education coordinator from Alzheimer's Society, Lanark, Leeds, and Grenville. Happy New Year. Same to you. <laughs>